This is a, a soil stabilization project at uh, the Harrisonville, Missouri water treatment facility. Uh, as you will see shortly, it's a retention pond uh, where they're using fly ash and using the Howard 700 DUT industrial mixer to mix that fly ash to uh, about an 18 inch depth to stabilize the soil. This is a standard uh, agricultural, uh, John Deere agricultural tractor. Uh, it does not have a creeper transmission in it, nor an IVT transmission. Uh, anytime you're tilling, mixing, deeper than 10 inches, everything works better with a creeper transmission. You might notice that occasionally he raises the machine. That's just because the compaction is so great, it's, it's, it's consuming so much power he has to compromise and reduce the workload by raising the rotavator. But if he had a creeper transmission, he would be able to go slower, giving the machine more time to do its job. This is a construction site in Rochester, Minnesota in July of 2002. Uh, what was unusual in this situation was that I think they'd had the wettest May on record and uh, the second wettest June. The construction project was falling way behind and they just felt they could not wait any longer for natural drying to occur. They had to stabilize the soil to to get back on, on schedule. Um, what you will notice here is the rapid recycle time. Uh, we're going forward at a, at, a, at a slow pace to do the job correctly, but notice uh, the speed with which uh, the operator backs up to reset uh, the machine for the next pass forward. This On this site, uh, it, the ground was so wet they had to work away from the hard ground into the soft ground. They had to stabilize their way to the softer ground and so they would they would drive stakes in the ground, establish a certain uh, square yardage. Uh, the product they're using here is fly ash. They would use a bulldozer and blade to push the, the, the fly ash over the known square yardage and then and then incorporate, uh, mix the, the fly ash within the, that uh, staked area. Then they would come along and use a, a sheep's foot compactor and a uh, vibratory roller to get it where they wanted it. Uh, 
that they had to work quickly and, and, and starting away from the driest part of the site and working their way towards the wettest. The operator has made one pass east and west. And you'll notice now that he's making a second pass perpendicular north and south to, the, to his first pass. He's doing that to get the best possible mixing effect and make sure that there are no streaks out there. The tractor used on this site is a, uh, a rented tractor and it's a standard agricultural tractor. Once again, it did not have a creeper transmission nor an IBT transmission. And everything always works better with a creeper. Uh, you just need to give the machine time to, to do its job and if you're going to be t going to near maximum depth in, in every pass you need to talk in terms of, of feet per hour not miles per hour. Here we are at the Fort Wayne, Indiana International Airport, where Geiger Developing has got the uh, soil moving and soil stabilizing contract. And what they're using in combination with other soil compactors, soil mixers, is uh, a Howard uh, HR50 deep fill rotavator designed to go up to 20. Geiger Developing is using a standard agricultural tractor here. You'll notice it's got a loader on it for helping move the uh, lime or fly ash around. Uh, this tractor does not have a creeper transmission nor the IBT transmission, but they do have it in, in, in the lowest possible forward travel speed. Um, you'll, you'll notice that um, they're moving along at a very respectable speed. The machine is capable of, of of an excess of 20 inches deep, but you'll never get that in the first pass in hard ground. That's only after repeated trips where each side drive mechanism can slide through loose soil.